Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about tech and productivity. In this video, we're going to build a simple to-do application live using Vue.js and Tailwind CSS. And before we get started, I'm going to ask for one small favor from you guys and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Cool, let's jump right in. I set up this project using the generic view CLI that you can just use to create projects. And I set it up with some linting. I use the Airbnb linting styles. If I save in a format that is not properly linted, then it'll auto format the code for me. So that's what's happening here. Um, once you have your project set up with Vue and whatever CSS library that you like, you can just CD into that project and just run npm run serve. If you go to localhost 8080, you should see something like this. And this is the starter template for our project. I just had to configure it like this so I don't take you guys along with the ride of setting up linting and all that other extra jazz that's largely irrelevant to creating a to-do application. So let's get started with this project by first adding some data points. And inside of view, we're going to create a data function, which is going to return some to do's. We're going to have an array of to do's and inside of here, we're going to have an ID for each to do. And that's just going to be a math.random ID. And we're also going to have a data point. So each to do is going to have the let's call it text just because it's a little bit more clear. So each to do is going to have some ID and it's going to have some text. And let's just keep it simple and just do hello. Okay, so we have two to do's, both of them say hello, let's change this to hello world, just so we can see it in action. Let's create a div and iterate through the to do's and display them. And when we're iterating through them, we're going to need to use a V4 to do in to do's. So this to do's is a reference to this to do's array. And we're also going to need to pass in a key. So do a V bind and we're going to have to set it to key and to do dot ID. So all this is doing is because we're going to have multiple divs uh, that are displayed, we want to set a key for each of them. Now you actually don't need to do this, I believe, but I have a linter and the linter doesn't compile the code if I don't do this. So that's why I'm adding this vbind functionality here. And quite simply, we can just do to do dot text. This should iterate through our to do's and display hello and world. And so now we have hello and world. Now let's add the functionality to remove a specific to do. We want to be able to delete each to do. And to do that, we're going to need a button. And this button is just going to be a simple X. So it's kind of clear to understand what's going on. And when we press this button, so on click, we want to remove the to do. How do we know which to do we're removing? We're going to need to pass in the ID of the to do. If we have the ID of the to do, we can just filter out the to do's inside of our function. And in view, you're going to need to create a methods uh, object like this and create your function there because that's just how uh, view keeps track of these methods. Uh, remove to do takes in the to do ID. And once we have our ID, all we have to say is this dot to do's. And again, this dot to do's is a reference to the to do's that we have inside of our data object uh, data function. And we are just gonna have to filter them. So this dot to do's dot filter, as long as the ID of the to do is not equal to the to do ID. And if we do this, we should be able to remove our to do's. Let's just take a quick little look. So now we have our X buttons. And if I press X, it should remove this to do. So now we have the functionality to remove to do's. Now let's add functionality to 
add to news. And let's put this in a specific div and we don't want to just add any to do. We want to add a specific to do that we specify. So we're going to need an input field and it's going to just take some text and we're going to have to set it up with this uh, V model. Whenever we type something inside of this input field, it's going to bind that information to a to do. Right now to do doesn't exist. So let's add that. And let's just say that to do is of empty string at first. And let's add a placeholder here. And the placeholder is just going to say add to do. This is just going to display an input field where you can write a to do. And when you write anything into it, it's going to bind it to this uh, to do data point but we still want to add it, right? We don't have any functionality to add it. So actually let's call it a button. And this button is just going to be called add. When we click the button, we want to add the to do. So now let's actually define this function inside of our methods. So here we can do add to do. We're going to need to first check if this uh, to do data point is empty, because if it's empty, we don't do anything. So if to this dot to do dot length is equal to zero, we can just return because we don't want to add empty points into our to do list. Otherwise, otherwise, we can add it to our to do list. And we can do that like this. So we just do this dot to do use dot push and take in an object. We need to pass in the ID, which again, this is going to be a math dot random number. And here the text of this to do will be the to do that we mapped inside of our input field. So if we save that, oh, something is wrong. What is wrong? I can't tell. Remo oh, I see. So there was expecting a comma. Yeah. Okay. What? Unnecessary return statement. Unnecessary else after return. Oh, I see. Man, this linter is going crazy. There we go. Okay, so I set it up with Airbnb's linting style. So basically, it's just very picky about the type of code that I write. In any case, this should allow us to add some to do's. So if I do like ASD add, you will notice that you can add some to do's. One thing we need to do is clear the to do once we add it. So So if I do ASD and I press add, we want to clear this input field. So that's what we're doing here. And let's just do some minor styling. Let's do a background color of green 500. This is Tailwind uh, classes. And let's do a margin of one and a padding of one on all sides. Cool. So now we have a simple little button that says add and you can add to do's with it and you can also remove to do's. Now the last thing we want to do is clear all to do's. So to clear all to do's, let's copy this over and do clear all to do's. And let's change this color to be red and call this button to be clear. So when we press this button, we want to remove all of the possible to do's. And that's a very simple function. Remove all to do's. And all we do is say this dot to do's equals an empty array. And that will reset this to do's array to be an empty array. And so if we refresh and clear the to do's, something is not working. Clear all to do's. What did I? Oh, 
I called it remove all to do's, but the function should be called clear all to do's. And if we do that, refresh and press clear, yep, you're going to notice that everything has been removed. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this live coding tutorial down in the comments section below. And like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.